Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the seven new Zara fragrances that they released just a couple of weeks ago. I have the bottles right here. They are unopened. I have not smelled any of these yet. So this is a um, unboxing and a first impressions and I will give some ratings as well because why not? Um, but yeah, this is kind of exciting. I just ordered all of these when I saw that they released them. I'm uh, very curious about them and um, let's just get started. So, okay, so these new ones are called, they're the new chapter ones. So Zara releases several chapters of fragrances and this time is chapter number six. I thought it was five actually. Oh, uh, oh, it's five and six so the blue ones are probably chapter five and the pink ones are chapter six yeah that's how it is so i guess they released two chapters at the same time that's fine um yeah i paid about 10 euros per bottle actually not about like almost 10 euros per bottle and then actually i think not even two weeks after they released them they already amped up the prices so now they are 13 euros which is in a price increase of 30 percent so in dollars euros and us dollars aren't that different so i'm guessing maybe 15 dollars now um still very cheap obviously but we will have to see if they are worth it if the quality is there if they perform if they last uh you know with zara i love zara fragrances but you have to be honest it's kind of hit and miss some don't even last 30 minutes. Other ones like Rose Gourmand. You can see that in my other videos. Some of them really do last a long time. But these ones, they are a total surprise. Let's check them out. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with the most gourmand ones. Now, I'm not the biggest gourmand lover. I'm going to have to be honest about that. I'm a floral gal myself. But let's just give them a chance. Maybe I will like them. I'm going to start with uh, Marshmallow Addiction. So this is a re-release. I know they had this one already in the rainbow colored bottles. Um, I haven't smelled any of that line because they were there and then I blinked my eyes twice and then they were gone. So I never tried it. Um, it's supposed to be a blend of flowers of the sun that's what i like delicious fruits drawn in by the irresistible gourmand vanilla and the marvelous comfort of musk so maybe it's not even that gourmand i don't know but as you can see the box is new and i'm going to open it right now okay so this is the bottle pretty pretty color right okay so let's give this one a try i have my little tester strips so let's do it why am i nervous i'm actually nervous of trying these fragrances it's so dumb it's stupid let's give them a try oh sweet Wow, it's very candy-like. It's like fruit candy. Hmm. This smells like very sweet, like those strawberry candies. I don't know if you know them. If, I, uh, if I'm able to, I will edit a picture of the strawberry candy that I have in my head. I will edit it in the video. Um, no, this is a pass for me. This is just way too sweet. No. Mm -mm. Very, very, um, candy-like, very juvenile. Okay, I get a little bit of a flower now. I don't know which one. Which one am I getting? Okay, the longer I'm smelling this, the more of the florals do kind of come through. I actually don't think this is very vanilla. And I don't even smell marshmallow. I smell not, I smell candy, but not marshmallow candy, but actual 
gelatinous, colorful candy and fruit. Like, like not realistic fruit, you know, not actual fruit, but fake fruit, if you know what I mean. Well, you know, it's not a bad smell, but this is something that I would gift my 10 year old niece or something. Um, it's, it's kind of a pass for me. I'm going to rate this. This is just personal. If you like sweet candy, like fragrances, you might like this. But for me, I'm going to give this a, ugh, probably a three out of 10. I'm just being honest. So that was marshmallow addiction. Okay, let's get on to the next one. The next most gourmand one is the the sultry pear let's do that one so um sultry pear i have heard on the grapevine that uh is that an expression am i saying that right i've heard that this might be a dupe for uh jean paul gautier labelle so i have smelled that one i liked it it's not a love for me because it's also rather sweet and very pear like so this is the bottle cute Yeah, that is a dupe. It's nice. It's kind of nice. I like it. Oh, I didn't even read the description. So it says it is jasmine petals tinted with pear accents that melt into a warm addiction of praline and vanilla. And I get it. Mm, it's kind of nice. It is a dupe for Labelle. Um, you know, when I say dupe, I do not mean that they are always exactly the same. Um, so if you have Labelle and you would try this one, maybe you can spot some differences. That is, of course, possible. But it's very reminiscent of Labelle. It's nice. I like it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to tell you which ones I will keep and which ones I won't keep. So the marshmallow addiction one is a pass for me. I am going to declutter this. But this one. I smell the praline and the pear. So it's actually like a... Um, it's actually like a fruit stuffed, milky chocolate bar. I like it. I'm going to keep this one. I'm sorry, my descriptions are super short because I cannot distinguish all the notes. I'm not even going to pretend I can because I can't. This is just a very short review, but it is, um, it is very... Um, uh, the praline is something that I'm really smelling. The vanilla is something I'm smelling. And the pear, the jasmine, not so much, but it doesn't, I don't mind. This is nice the way it is. It's sweet, it's gourmand, it's pear. And I am going to rate this one a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, on to the next one. The next one I will be testing is Peach Glow this one i don't know obviously i haven't smelled it yet like all the others but i think this might be a nice one now that spring has sprung peach is one of those fruits that are just you know they give off such a sunny vibe so i'm thinking i might like this one but we'll see so the description says it's an elegant floral signature with a fruity background of peach and grapefruit reinforcing the sensuality of praline again and in enveloping i don't know that word the magnetic character of amber okay let's give this one a try this is the bottle I don't dislike this. 
Okay, so first impressions, um, it's nothing I haven't smelled before. It's pretty, uh, not generic, that's not how I would call it, but it's a little, it's nothing groundbreaking. I don't think fragrances have to be groundbreaking, to be honest. Sometimes, you know, a certain DNA just works and, you know, it's nice to have several variations on that DNA. So this is something that I have smelled before. However, I don't dislike it. It kind of smells like a peach uh, body wash. And I know when people say that something smells like a shampoo or a body wash, um, it kind of sounds negative, but I don't necessarily think that's the case. Sometimes I want to smell like I just hopped out of the shower. Um, and this one really gives me that vibe. It's like a peach scented shampoo or shower gel. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's su just super fruity without being overly sweet. Of course, it has some sweetness. Peaches are sweet, but it's not. It's not like the marshmallow, like super sugary candied sweet. This is nice. This is fruity sweet. I don't really get amber. Mm, maybe I do. Maybe I do. I'm going to try a little bit more. It's actually nice. Okay. It's definitely peach centered. And I do think the other notes complement the peach. Again, it is not super mature or super sophisticated. However, I mean, did you really expect that to be the case? I didn't. It's pretty juvenile, but it's cute. It's nice. It's a freshie. It's something that maybe I would bring with me on a trip to, um, you know, just a sunny beach day or something. And I might just, just like an easy reach, just grab and go. I like it. Am I going to keep it? For now. Yep. For now, I'm going to keep it. If I have to give this one a rating, I would say it is about a <sighs> I'm just going to give it a 7. I think it deserves a 7. It's not a love, it's a like, it's pleasant, it's cute. It's a 7. So that was Peach Glow. Next up. Now we are getting into more of my category of fragrances because I'm a floral gal and especially with spring being here, I love my florals. So I'm going to start with, let's start with Queen Plum Rose. Now, maybe I'm thinking maybe this is a dupe for uh, Narciso Rodriguez uh, uh, Musk rose noir which i own which i love i mean tiktok is all over the place with that one and the hype is real it's just super nice i recommend it maybe it is not a dupe but you know plum rose those are both in the i think in the musk what is it called musk noir rose or musk rose noir well you know that one the description says, magic awakes as a floral encounter of plumeria, that's the word I didn't know, and rose with a mouth-watering edible touch. Ooh, okay, so this is maybe something between floral and gourmand. Let's see, let's open it up. It's a classy bottle. Less colorful, but I don't mind. You know what, before I'm gonna smell it, I'm just gonna, hold on. Okay, so what do you think? You think this might be inspired by or a dupe? You think that could be the case? Okay, it is not a dupe for Miss Noir Rose. It is absolutely not a dupe for or inspired by. So I'm uh i'm wrong in that area but it is very classic hmm 
It is very floral. I don't think there is anything edible about this one. I don't know why they say that. I mean, it smells like um, flower petals, like pretty natural. It smells like a, a um... oh, I know what it smells like. It actually smells like grandma's bar of soap in her bathroom, like kind of an old rose. That is what it smells like. Yeah, it smells very classic rose scented soaps or stuff like that. Which honestly, I kind of like. I do like fragrances that remind me of my grandmother's bathroom or her house. Not the bath, not the toilet, obviously, but the bathroom with the bath and everything in. Um it just gives a bit of a classic feel. It brings me back to my childhood. So I do like fragrances that give me that impression. But it's very floral, definitely. If you don't like florals, if you don't like classic rose smelling soapy uh, scents, then I don't think you're gonna like this. Luckily, I do like scents like that. It is not a huge love for now, but I am going to keep this one. So for me, as a rating, I'm going to give this a, hmm, I'm going to give it a seven for now. I like it. I don't know if I like it more or less than the peach one. It's just different. The peach one is fruity. This one is very floral, obviously, but I'm going to stick with my seven for now. So, and we'll see. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to wear this and see how it performs and everything. Maybe I can do an update video on that after a while. I might do that. But that was Queen Plum Rose. Next is, um, uh, let's do Majestic Lilas. I'm kind of intrigued by this one because I don't really know what lilas smell like. I don't think I have a perfume with the lilac um, note. So um, the description says, Blossoms appear everywhere and nature is calling us. The purity and elegance of a lilac flower that blooms the concrete and infuses the air with its magic. Wow, okay, let's give this one a try. The bottle is very less is more kind of looky. This is very classy. Just not too much zingity zangity, just clean. Let's give it a try. Hmm. This is my jam. Okay, this is super, super floral, but oh, so nice. Okay, if this, this is what lilac smells like, then I'm a lilac fan. Hmm. It also smells kind of like, um, uh, what could be grandma's bar of soap and I'm saying this like in a super positive way because again I like that so I'm not being ageist or anything I love those classic florals oh it's nice it's nice it kind of smells like water lilies mm, I like it it smells very green to me because I can kind of, I can smell the flowers, but I feel like I can also smell the stems of the flowers. It's super nice. The purity and elegance, I agree. It is very pure smelling. It smells elegant. It smells airy, watery, clean, crisp. Those are words that I would use to describe this scent. I really like it. Mm -hmm. I actually think if it's hot, outside that this might be nice because it's so um not that it smells aquatic but it smells crisp i can't really i don't have another word to describe it it smells crisp and clean and super floral i like it this one for me is probably an eight out of ten so needless to say i will be keeping this i'm not going to declutter it I definitely prefer the lilac one over the plum rose one. 
Next up is, hmm, let's do Royal Frisia. Okay. So as far as I know, Frisia is also some sort of white flower. The description says, sublime elegance in the shape of blooming freesias and a spicy woody trail. Okay, so they added some woody notes. I'm intrigued. Let's open it up. Again, very simple bottle, not too many colors. Hmm. I get the woodiness. I get the floral. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. The first thing I'm thinking is I really like it, but this is not, and I have to be honest, I'm not, I, I, I don't mind woody scents, but I'm not super into them. And this is pretty woody. And even though I like it, I don't think I would wear it as a person. However, this would smell really nice in the house. So um, I think I will be spraying this on, you know, some of the curtains, the pillows on the couch, something like that. Because it does smell nice. It smells elegant. Clean, fresh, fresh yet woody. Not that woody scents aren't fresh, but I hope you know what I mean. I do like it. I don't think this is a bad scent at all. And the only way I can describe this is a fresh, elegant, sort of sophisticated, woody floral. That's how I would describe it. So that's not really a lot of extra information than you probably already had. Ooh, the spicy. Yeah, spicy woody trail, they say. That's true. I do smell some spice. I actually feel like this is slightly unisex. If you're a guy who's into florals, if that makes any sense. Yeah, this is unisex female leaning or feminine leaning, in my opinion. I am going to rate this one a 7.5. However, like I said, I don't think I will be wearing it. I'm going to spray this around the house, maybe the car, stuff like that. But it is, it is not a bad scent at all. Like, definitely not. I do like it. And that already brings us to the last one. I am keeping this all really short. Um, by the way, feel free to give me some feedback uh, if you're like... Okay, you didn't really say anything about the notes, then maybe next time I will try to go more in depth on them. And if you're like, no, you ramble on too long about the same scent, then I will try to keep it shorter. I am open to feedback. Just please be nice. Don't be mean. Don't be a troll. And so the next one is Noble Wisteria. Blissfulness in the form of a tender noble wisteria and a delightful clover work of art. Okay, these descriptions... I kind of like them. So when I see Wisteria, I kind of think of Wisteria Lane. <laughs> if you're from my generation and you watched Desperate Housewives, you know what I'm talking about. But I think it's a type of tree or something. So maybe, maybe it's the blossom of the tree. I don't know, guys. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't have all that information. Let's just smell it and see what, how we feel. Okay, again, I'm liking this. I have to be honest, I kept my expectations rather low for this uh, for these new ones because they kind of look a little bit cheap. But I already know that cheap doesn't mean bad and expensive doesn't mean it's a good scent. That is not something that I, I feel is, is always the case. Um, but actually, the only one I truly disliked was the marshmallow one. Because this one for me is also pretty, pretty nice. It again smells green. I don't know what it is, but I feel 
like that's the fourth time already that I said that some that, that one of these smell green and this one again has a very green note to me green floral again super fresh very very fresh very um actually this is also one that I might use around the house just when it's sunny out and I'm opening up the curtains everywhere I'm letting fresh air in I might spray this around it's super fresh it's a little citrusy also I feel like I'm smelling some citrus and also this actually reminds me of something and I can't put my finger on it but I smell some citrus and I smell some green apple oh this might remind me of DKNY's Be Delicious. Yeah, it has a bit of that tartness of green apple. Does it say anything about apple? It doesn't, but that is what I'm smelling. Apple, some citrus, I don't know if it's grapefruit or lemon or bergamot. And then green notes like grass or plants i do like it super 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 fresh this is the freshest one out of all um yeah like a lighter more watered down be delicious dkny that's kind of how i would describe this one and it's nice and i am going to keep this one for now i'm going to use around the house maybe on myself i might and I'm going to rate this last one a I think I'm gonna rate it a 7.5 I actually forgot how I rated the other ones but this is also pretty nice Okay, guys, that is it for my review today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have comments or questions or suggestions or whatever, just put them in the comments below and I will see you for the next one. By the way, I already have another idea for some other fragrances for spring. Um, it's kind of a cheapy spring fragrances edition, something like that. And I will be uploading that one in about maybe a week or a week or two. You So, um... Click the notifications bell if you want to see it and hopefully you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye!